All right, let's talk about Blossom Rock in Apache Junction. Let's first talk about what is Blossom Rock. Well, I'll tell you, it's going to be one of the most amazing master plan communities the Phoenix metro area has ever seen. Why? Because it encompasses over 270 square miles. That's the same size as the city of Mesa, Gilbert, Tempe, and most of Chandler all into one. This is a ginormous 2,800 acres that is going to be developed into over 5,000 homes. The first phase is called Blossom Rock, and this is located directly outside of Maricopa County. This is Pinal County. It's going to be on the east side of Ironwood and just south of Interstate 60. I'm telling you, it's been talked and whined and cried about for decades. Um, we have a neighboring city called Gold Canyon that wanted to preserve that state land and not have literally thousands of people moving in just outside of their community. Well, D.R. Horton is actually the company that bought the land but it's being developed by a large developer that is going to be sharing the wealth and have a multitude of builders creating this new community called Blossom Rock. Let's talk about a little bit more about what this community will offer because I'm telling you, there's just nothing else like this in the entire greater Phoenix area. I'm so excited to bring it to you and I love going out there every couple of months and checking on it. So you gotta keep checking in with us so you can see the updated aerials and, and videos that we've been taking. So this is called, like I said, it is Superstition Vistas. And this is phase one called Blossom Rock. Blossom Rock will have a 16 acre central park. That's going to be kind of in the middle. Makes sense, right? They're going to have a huge lake. And for those worrying about the water, this is all going to be reclaimed water. There will be a community pool. There will be pickleball courts and basketball courts, all kinds of playgrounds throughout the community with the shade structures, and there will be an internal trail system. But you want to talk about trail systems? Let me tell you, there are quite a few mountain ranges surrounding the greater Phoenix area. This girl's personal favorite, and I'm telling you, there is nothing like Superstition Mountains. It is unbelievable. And some of the stories, ghost town stories, are amazing with over 80 different trails. I haven't tried them all, but my favorites are Peralta. That's a fantastic five mile hike. Good afternoon, it's gonna be really good on your quads. And your most full body workout, you're gonna to have to check out the Fat Man Pass. So I'm telling you, that one is a ball buster. <laughs> Oh, no, she didn't. Oh, yes, she did. We also are right by Salt River. And I have to tell you, this young lady has picked up paddleboarding, and I absolutely love it. The fact that it is only from this community 10 to 15 minutes outside of town. You're literally going to drop in your kayak, your paddleboard, or if you don't have either and you just want to go tubing, um, that I think opens up like the last part of April and it goes all the way to Labor Day. You can rent an inner tube for 20 bucks, take a bus up at the top, you and your friends just kind of mosey on down. You got your coolers and your tunes, and it's a great afternoon as long as you have your sunscreen. Just saying. If you love camping, if you love fishing, if you like mountain biking, if you like um, going out on the lake, if you have a boat, if you have a sea dew or a jet ski, Saguaro and Canyon Lakes, let me just say, Stunning. These are some of the most majestic mountains, I am telling you, in the entire greater Phoenix area. I have to tell you, it's just absolutely amazing. Tonto National Park. I would highly recommend you get a Tonto National Pass. Um, you get that every year, and I think it's $60. I can't recall, but I think it's $60. I'll be getting mine here soon because paddleboard season is about to start. We also have, if you are really into guns and outdoor gun clubs, one of my favorites here is called the Rio Salada Guns Sportsman Club, and they have outdoor ranges, they have target shooting, they have steel out to 300 yards, and they also have the clay sporting clay range. I don't do that. So, But the, if you're an outdoor shooter, you're going to love having this so close and nearby. Like I said, there's mountain biking also. More than 84 trails designated 
just for mountain bikers. As a hiker, you don't want to be on the trail with a mountain biker. Sometimes you are, and, it, you know, you don't want to get run over. If you're looking for club sports or organized sports, whether it be for your kids or yourself, you are only 10, 15 minutes from the infamous Bell Bank Sports Complex. This sports complex, it's the, the nation's largest privately owned sports complex, and it will blow you away. Whether you play tennis or pickleball or volleyball or football or soccer or e-gaming or also outdoor sports, I'm telling you, there is so much going on over at this complex. It is it's breathtaking, literally, to see that somebody had the concept to put something like this together. Smack dab in the middle of the desert. It's fantastic. Also, here's another thing that's right, right down in the desert. Mesa Gateway Airport. So if you live on the west part of the valley or you're thinking about the west part of the valley, and I use that as a very general term because Luke Air Force Base is in Surprise, but you can live in the other surrounding areas. Let me tell you, those jets make an awful lot of noise. Believe it or not, ever Mesa Gateway, there's you you rarely hear the planes. Like rarely. I'm not gonna say never, but just rarely. But here's the thing I want to share with you. Allegiant Airlines continues to add more and more flights directly from Canada, Seattle, Portland right now. Portland round tour, now each way is 38 bucks. Are you crazy? 38 bucks straight into Mesa Gateway. And it's like going back in time, like the airport's like 1980. Like you, you walk out on the tarmac to get on the plane. And ah, this, if you are looking for more space, this is an area community for you. Now let's kind of go back now to modern living. And you're looking for shopping and dining. Well, it's a little bit out there right now, uh, but, you know, build it and they will come. So first we have to get the people to live there, and then you're going to start to see more restaurants and such opening up. If you're looking for shopping, you're only going to be going maybe about 15-ish, 20 minutes. You're going to be heading um, straight up 60. You're going over to Superstition Shopping Center. Kind of a dying shopping center, though. It's good for emergency needs, is all I'm going to say. Or you could take the 202 and head into Gilbert and Santan Village is going to satisfy even the fussiest of shoppers. Same with restaurants. There's not going to be a lot of restaurants out here for a while. There are a couple little places already. There's some pizza places and some taco joints. Um, and again, if you're up by Superstition Shopping Mall, I never really go there. A shopping mall, um, there's some bigger you know, corporate restaurants there. But again, if you're looking for more higher end or plethora of choices, you're going to either be going into downtown Queen Creek, which is becoming quite the little center. I'm telling you, downtown Queen Creek is being built right now, and there's going to be a lot of uh, mom and pop shops popping up there. They already have a lot of breweries and other restaurants that you're going to enjoy, or you're going to head over into Gilbert. Or you know what, too? Right now for the 202 over here on Power Road, we're seeing a lot of things pop up on Power Road. So we're probably going to see a whole lot more restaurants. It's just, again, that the residents, the, the population needs to step up. And I'm telling you, this place is the desert right now. Look at these aerials. It shows you this is just Band one, guys, and it is going to be massive. Hopefully, this girl's retired by the time they're done. But I'm telling you, if you want to get in early where you can ride that appreciation, and I'm not talking about a year or two. I'm talking if you want to buy and hold 5, 10, even 20 years, this place is going to explode. Not only are we seeing the residential, we have LG Energy coming in. Um, that's going to be several thousand high-paying jobs um, and again a lot of people that live in the city it's not really the city but the city you're part of Cheeler and Gilbert they're gonna say those cities or towns have gotten too busy and they're gonna everybody's gonna continue to move out and Gilbert now has over 280,000 people live in the town of Gilbert and they're still building so people that live there now are kind of saying I'm over it um, a lot of them moved out to Queen Creek, and now that's getting quite grown up. Um, they only have about 70,000 people that live there right now. But Santan Valley actually has closer to 100,000 people, and there is no freeway, although there will be one in about 10 years. So my point is, there's going to be a lot of demand for this area, guys, a lot. Now, you're probably here because you want to see more about what the builders are going to be offered. Well, let, let's take a look. 
My first one I want to show you is David Weekly. This is a model actually over at Eastmark, which is a, a different community that's actually closing out. And they are going to have this similar floor plan. Here's a little trick, guys. David Weekly, oh, phenomenal builder. I mean, wait till you see this. But they changed the name of their floor plans from community to community. So you need to get in with us because we are in with them. So we know which ones they are going to have out in Blossom Rock. They are just breaking ground on six spec homes. And if you are interested in getting in the ground opportunity, you got to give us a call. Editor, run those video, run that video for us of the David Weekly home. Love David Weekly's designs, their elevations, color choices, etc. Now here's a little secret. Every single community that David Weekly opens is they change the names of their floor plants because there's always just a little bit of a tweak. And because they do that, it's kind of hard to track down some of your favorites. So that's again why you got to give us a call. This is a great floor plan if you are looking for a multi-generation living kind of arrangement. So you have this kind of office that you can use. You also have this um, area that you could also use for, again, study, um, game room, second little family room, uh, toy playing area. It depends on who you have living on, you know, with you. Um, this would be ideal for teen, teen rooms. We also could do this as mother-in-law quarters. Oh, hello. But again, this would be great for, again, like I said, um, separate living quarters. I love David Weekly's open living floor plans. All of them are like this. They have high ceilings. It's great for conversation. Um, and just, again, keeping everyone together, even though you're in several different rooms. Typically, oh, just look at the space between the center island and the countertop. This is a great kitchen for many cooks in the kitchen at the same time. I love it. Then you have this super open dining area. Look at the space here. This is insane. Now these are all an upgrade, all these cabinets, just to let you know, they've used a quartz countertop on this particular um, home. But this is also something that you can do afterwards. You don't have to do it as at the original purchase, um, unless you do wanna build it into your uh, monthly mortgage. You also have these butler pantry. This is the most cost-effective, just to do the shelving here. And again, more cabinets, more, more, more everywhere. Look at this amazing setup with a wine fridge. Oh my gosh, look at the size of this refrigerator. Wow, it's a Thermador, the whole Thermador package. Okay, let's check out the master suite, or should I say primary room? Oh. Look at this size master bath. Plenty of room for two people at one time. And this is just the basics. You could do some amazing closet design in this closet for sure. Plenty of room. Um, as far as design, this is what we are typically seeing today as opposed to the wood plank flooring. People are going with the 12 by 24 tile, water closet. So if this floor plan is something that is appealing to you, you have to give us a call because again, you're not gonna find the same exact floor plan throughout the valley. And it's not always pleasant to go through the website Floor plan by floor plan by floor plan. Just give us a call and we'll get you the exact information you're looking for. We can set up online tours, virtual tours, or of course, when you come to town. Lots of options for multi-generational homes, even though they are not labeled 
multi-generation homes. Now, there are going to be several other builders also at Blossom Rock. Let's talk briefly about those. First one I want to mention is Pulte. Pulte puts out a fantastic product. Um, I'm going to say they're a mid to high level builder, um, and they are going to have nine different floor plans. Which ones those are, are yet to be seen. you got to give us a call so you can get on our list so that we can keep you informed when these builders start building the specs and releasing them. You want to get in early. Remember, that's the trick. The next builder I want to talk about is TriPoint. TriPoint is a great kind of, again, a mid-level. I'm going to say their price point, though. Well, that's not true. They, they, they are pretty darn close to Pulte. But in my mind, I'm thinking TriPoint might start in the five and sixes. Um, and Pulte, I'm thinking, is going to start in the six and seven. So that's kind of my kind of thought process. All the builders have promised that they will have a minimum width of a 55 foot lot and a depth of 120 feet. Now that remains to be seen because I've seen a lot of builders start with this and then the actual product is this. So that remains to be seen. And the reason I'm saying that is because my next builder, not my next builder, the next builder is Lennar. And here's something, Lennar has turned into a spec only community. So they are super cookie cutter template homes um, and in my opinion kind of apartment grade so they are going to be um, in the actual Blossom Rock area probably one of the lowest entry price points if that's what you're looking for because they did say that there was a builder that would be starting in the 550 price point so I'm going to say that's Lennar um, that remains to be seen they're kind of secretive until they're done until they're ready. But I'll be digging on that for you. I'm going to get you some more information. The last builder out there I know nothing about. I'm going to have to do a lot more research. And that is Brookfield Residential. Brookfield is the development company that is actually doing this entire community. Um, and I can see what Brookfield has done in the southern states. They, they are very prominent in other states. I think they're building in over 20 states. They just haven't built in Arizona yet. So um, I will be doing some digging for you because I'm going to try and get a virtual tour as soon as I possibly can when they have a model somewhere. If you haven't already subscribed to my channel, please do so, it helps with my algorithm. But I wanna tell you about a builder that's building just outside of Blossom Rock. It is part of Superstition Vistas, none other than DR Horton. Imagine that, they're the ones that bought the land. <laughs> so DR Horton has four different series that they are currently offering. at Radiance at Superstition Vistas. I have to tell you, I think especially for the young professional that doesn't necessarily want to have a roommate and live close to work if you live, I'm sorry, if you work in the Southeast Valley. I really like these homes. They have all different size. They have everything from 1300 all the way up to a larger two-story. But here's the great thing. They're all in the 400s. They start at 400, like 10, and then they go up to like 490. Here's the other thing. This particular community with Dear Horton, this is not always the case, but this particular community is spec only. This is what they told me. Just in the month of January 2024, they sold 68 homes. They sold so many. That's how many buyers are now jumping out that they are seeing price increases every few days. What did you just say? Every few days, guys. So even if you are buying a spec home, which will be completed within the next 60 days, you still have several little price increments before you're actually paying a mortgage. The days of when you would put down an earnest deposit and then not actually have to pay anything for 10 months or so, that at this point anyway, it seems to be reserved for the higher price points. These smaller spec homes, cookie cutters, whatever you want to call them, um, this is how they keep that money flowing in and they only offer the specs for sale. It seems to be working. And dear Horton, at the time of this video, was offering 4.99% 30-year mortgage. If you are on the fence because you think interest rates are too high, you got to give us a call. The builders are insane. They're giving some amazing incentives right now. I don't like making my videos about forcing buyers to buy. It's just a good time to buy. And I love being your source of sources source of resources, a resource for your sources. You're mocking me, aren't you? However you want to look at, I love that you are giving me a call, shooting me a text, sending me an email. Days, nights, or weekends, we got your back when moving to Phoenix, Arizona, in and around the entire Phoenix metro area. We want to hear from you. Comments below, please subscribe. Thank you so much, and I hope to hear from you soon. Bye.